A push dagger, push dirk, T-handled knife or punch dagger, is a short-bladed dagger with a T-handle designed to be grasped in the hand so that the blade protrudes from the front of one's fist, typically between the index and middle finger. Over the centuries, the push dagger has gone up and down in popularity as a close combat weapon for civilians and selected military forces. The sale of push daggers is illegal in some countries, such as the United Kingdom. History The push dagger is thought to have originated from the Indian subcontinent, and is related in principle to the 16th century Indian kata, or punching sword. However, the kata is gripped by two close set vertical bars while a push dagger uses a T-handle and a blade that protrudes between the fingers when properly gripped. Equals American push dagger equals, in 1800s America the knife was adopted by men and women in all walks of life as a defensive weapon and an item of daily wear. Politicians wore them into state and federal buildings, even the United States Capitol. As a concealable weapon. The push dagger was a favorite choice of civilian owners requiring a discreet knife capable of being used for personal protection. Before the development of reliable small pistols such as the Derringer, the push dagger was especially popular among riverboat gamblers and residents of the larger towns and cities of the Old Southwest, particularly gamblers and a copyright migra copyrightess from the city of New Orleans, Louisiana. The New Orleans style push dagger was known as the gimlet knife. The gimlet knife had a short two-inch blade with a gimlet, or T-handle. It was a common weapon in the city during the 1800s, and was usually slipped into a boot or concealed inside a coat sleeve, or else hung on a waistcoat button by a strap attached to the knife's leather sheath. The gimlet knife was used in so many riots, fights, and murders in New Orleans that the city passed an ordinance in 1879 prohibiting anyone within city limits from selling offering or exhibiting such a weapon for sale. The push dagger also was a favorite weapon in 19th century San Francisco, California. The San Francisco style of push dagger tended to have a slightly longer blade than that of the gimlet knife and was most often equipped with a T-handle made of walrus ivory. Equals Studolt equals, during the latter half of the 19th century, the push dagger also enjoyed a brief period of popularity in Britain and Central Europe particularly in Germany, where it was called the Studolch or Faustmesser, meaning push dagger, and fist knife, respectively. The weapon is thought to have been introduced there in the mid-1800s by foreign sailors visiting North German ports. German cutlery makers began to manufacture domestic versions of the design, often set in nickel-silver mountings. The Studolch was sold primarily as a self-defense weapon for travelers, salesmen and others who required a compact, concealable weapon. Push daggers continued to be sold in Britain and Europe through the end of the 19th century, when the combination of more effective police forces and the availability of inexpensive small handguns caused a substantial decline in sales and usage of push daggers and other types of specialized fighting knives. Equals World War I equals, the reality of static trench warfare in World War I created a need for short handy close combat weapons that could be used in the confines of a trench. With pistols in short supply, a variety of knives and other stabbing weapons were created or issued to troops serving in the trenches. Originally most of these weapons were fabricated in the field from readily available materials such as metal stakes, but soon factory-made examples of knuckle knives and push daggers appeared at the front, and were used by both sides in the conflict. In Britain the Robbins Dudley Company of Dudley, Worcestershire, a metalworking concern, was one of the first commercial producers of specialized wartime knuckle knives and push daggers for private sale to individual soldiers and officers. The typical Robbins Dudley push dagger a euro referred to as a punch knife by its maker a euro utilized an aluminium knuckle type handle cast onto a 3.625 inch heat treated steel dagger blade or alternatively, a 5 inch metal spike which was subsequently blackened to prevent reflections in moonlight. Equals World War II equals, the push dagger re-emerged during World War II, where it was first issued as combat weapon for British commandos, SAS, SOE, and other specialized raiding or guerrilla forces requiring a compact and concealable weapon for sentry elimination or close quarters fighting. Equals Contemporary designs equals, 
During the 1980s several new versions of the push dagger concept were produced by a variety of speciality cutlery manufacturers, and were sold primarily as tactical or self-defense weapons, particularly in the USA. The laws of many nations and several U.S. states and cities prohibit or criminalize to some degree the purchase, possession, or sale of push daggers or knuckle knives. See also, Cater, Knife Legislation, List of Daggers, Mark I Trench Knife, Eula. References <laughs>